everyone, I'm Deb Rayley with the Social Tech Team and today is our lesson five in growing your audience. And all week long we have worked together on doing all sorts of different activities from discovering what type of content our audience is responding to and then putting that type of content out there so that they are reacting to it. Once they react to it, we can take those reactions and invite them to our business page. We can invite uh, friends and family to our VIP groups, to our business pages by virtue of sharing, by virtue of inviting. So we have that exercise under our belt. And then yesterday we talked about sending private messages uh, to our friends to see who's in small business for themselves. And I'm going to show you what we're going to do with that information today. But by virtue of sending those private messages, it uh, awoken, if you will, those who have been dormant for a while. And now that we have some conversations going on in private messaging, the likelihood of your content showing up in their newsfeed uh, gets a little boost. So today we're going to walk through, now that we know who's in small business, what are we going to do with it and how do we use that? So let's get started. So today we're going to talk through how to create customized audience lists and why that's important. When you create a post on your personal profile, if the post is set to friends, which would be all of your friends, there's a percentage of those friends who are not going to be your ideal clients, particularly if you're sharing a business related post. Then you're going to have a segment of your friends who are actually going to be in the exact same business that you're in if you're in direct sales. And so those are also not going to be your ideal client. That means the audience that you're really targeting is much smaller than all of your friends. So if you want your message to um, hit an, a specific audience, then you want to have a specific audience you're sending it to. So I'm going to show you how we're going to go about using these customized audiences so that we can be more visible to our people that we're trying to market to. And just by being more visible, they will in turn start to develop relationships with you and start to become a follower of your business material. Okay, so let's get started. All right, when I'm here on Facebook, on my personal profile, when I go to create a post, um, my default right here is set for public. And of course, we know that we can change these to friends or customized audiences. So let me show you how we create these customized audiences. So on the left hand side of your screen, under explore, if you go down to friends lists, click on this, these are all the customized audiences I have already created. So I have a small business owner list, my local friends, guys only, uh, people who are on my team, friends who are also not in the same business I'm in, so my regular ordinary friends, those who are in the same business I'm in, my hostesses, people who are just mere acquaintances, and then restricted lists. So the reason you have these types of custom audiences set up is let's say I'm doing a promotion about a product and I want to be sure that my friends are seeing it. If I leave it to public or friends only, all of these people are in that pot and not all of these people are my ideal clients. So when I create that post for my product, I'm gonna change my audience setting to friends, no jewelers, because I wanna be sure I'm targeting just my friends, and it also ensures that the content I'm putting out, if I have it set to friends, no jewelers, or friends, no whatever your business is, or whatever you wanna call this, it also allows for my posts to stay with me and people, uh, it cuts back on people saying, oh, that's really cute. Let me just go use that for myself. And then it becomes less authentic to you. So uh, when you have your audience set, that's really going to be helpful. If I'm doing a, say, Mother's Day promotion, or if I'm doing some sort of a, um, a promotion just for women, like for Christmas or something, and I want their spouses or their, uh, their males, the males in their life, maybe their sons, to be the ones making the purchase, then my audience would be set to guys because I'm speaking specifically to guys. When I'm talking about small business owners, if I'm doing a post where I am promoting other small businesses, that I might set to friends or public so everyone can see it, or you could also set it to small business owners. So if you have a post where you're talking to small businesses about the importance of following each other and 
uh, co and collaborating together, that might be an uh, audience where you're targeting just your business owners. So there's a lot of value in being able to um, have this type of list set up because not only does it speak your message directly to the audience that you're targeting, but the likelihood that it gets delivered into the news feeds of the people that you're really trying to target goes up. So that's really important, okay? So let me show you how you make these lists. So we clicked on um, friend list down here. Up here at the top, I can say create a list. <clears throat> and here I'm gonna give the list a name. So I'm gonna call this my sample list. And you need to add at least one person to get the list started. So let me add my friend Becca Perry and I'm gonna create the list. Okay, so now the list is created, great. How do I add people to the sample list, custom list? Well, let me show you. Okay, I find the easiest way to do it, there's multiple ways to do it, but the easiest way to do it is to go to your personal profile and go to your friends list. Now, obviously the more friends you have, the longer this is gonna take. So for each uh, person in your friends list, of course, they're all gonna come up as default friends because you friended them. Now, if you hover over their name, you'll see where it says get notifications, close friends, acquaintances, add to another list. So if I click on add to another list, I can determine which lists, multiple lists, I wanna add this person to. So I just click sample list and now she's added to the list. So set up your list names first, then go through each friend and identify which list they need to be assigned to. Then, when you are ready to make your post, so I've got Monica and Becca both in my friends list. When I'm ready to make my post, I'm gonna create my post, test post, or sample list, okay? And here's where I'm gonna change my setting. I'm gonna say, instead of public, I want this to go to a custom list, see all. There we go. And there's my sample list. So now this is only going to go to Monica and Becca. It posts on my wall so I can see it. But if I look at here, if I hover over this, it tells me who it goes to. Okay. Now that we have our list, let me show you. I'm on my business page because you're wanting to share things from your business page. So instead of sharing everything from your business page, always to your personal page, which is not what I'm recommending, but on occasion, it's a good idea to grow your audience by sharing it with your friends, if you're sharing it with a targeted audience. So here's a post I created today. Now, if I wanna share this, first of all, you want to be sure that you're sharing it as yourself, not as your business page, okay? Because this won't work if you're trying to share it as your business page. So you click on this little circle here. The default is gonna be set as your business page. Change it to your personal profile and then you're going to select share. Now when you click share, click on the share with the dot, 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 because this is going to allow you to uh, customize it a little bit. So click share, dot, 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 and this box pops up. It says you're sharing this on your personal timeline. Expand this. Here's where you would type any additional commentary, but if you look at this, it says it's sharing it to all of my friends. And I don't wanna share this with all of my friends. I wanna share this with a very specific audience. So here I'm gonna say friends, and I'm gonna look for my custom list. So here's my sample list. This is the sample list. So these are the only people in here that should see this. If it's delivered to their news feeds, it's only gonna to go to these folks, okay? So I'm gonna just put up here uh, testing. Okay, so I've got testing sample list on there. I'm going to my sample list and now I'm going to post it. There we go. Okay, so we've got this posted. It's going just to that audience of my sample list, which are two people, and they will then see the post from my business page. So that gives them an opportunity to click on it to read more. It takes them over to my business page, where hopefully, if we do this you know regularly, then they will uh, continue to go back to my business page. It will help my numbers over there and I'll be able to invite them to, um, to follow along. So when you are creating this type of content, so here's one I did that was public, all right? And then here's one that I did that was friends no jewelers. So only people who are on my friends no jewelers list will see this post. And I will tell you, 
I've already had 13 comments, which when I sent my other posts to friends or public, these people, there's a good number of them that seldom see or react or respond because it doesn't show up in their newsfeed. The reason this is showing up in their newsfeed is because I private messaged them you know, prior, in the day prior, asking them about their small business. So we've engaged there and they're set on my custom list. That's how I know that this was an effective post, simply because of the history of who has been responding. So hopefully this gives you some ideas about how to um, incorporate or, or grow your audience in terms of people who are seeing your content. We're growing our audience of people who are seeing our content, we are sharing things from our business page to our timeline, our personal timeline, adjusting your audience setting so that when they're reacting and responding, they're actually reacting and responding to your business page, which then you can then go and do the inviting invite my, to like my business page. So hopefully these give you some great ideas this week of how you can, without spending any money, some little tweaks that you can be doing on your own um, Facebook, to bring in more people to seeing your business content. But keep in mind, keep your content value rich, value added with about 80% of it providing value, education, entertainment, and then 20% of it providing a promotion or a marketing piece. Um, because if you do it the other way around, all that work that you're doing will be for naught because they will stop following what you're doing. Okay guys, hopefully this helps and get after it. Good luck. Thank you.